Hey friends, Min here from On The Stamp Page. I'm here to share with you a creation that I'm making for this month's challenge at Crafter's Castle. And um, I'm really excited because we are getting to use this beautiful Passport to the Circus kit by Taylor May Cards For You. They are our sponsor this month. This kit comes with three different digital papers, the stars, the stripes, and then this fun ticket background. And then two um, ephemera pages, which are also really awesome. And what I decided to do with mine is to create a cute little digital invitation for um, this one's for first birthday, but it could be for literally anything. And it was really quick and easy. And um, then you could use this kit to create banners and decor and little like uh, toppers for cupcakes. I mean, the, the options for this kit are endless. So I wanted to show you how I made this little invitation. I'm gonna do this one in a different style. So that you can see the versatility. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a four by six image, and the way, or not image, sorry, a four by six, um, whatever this is called. I'm sorry, friends. I'm tired today. A four by six uh, area for me to work in, and um, the reason that I do four by six is because then I can get these printed as photos from like Walgreens or things like that. Sometimes Walgreens will have a really great deal where you can get a hundred of them for 10 cents each. So if you were doing a really large event, that would be fabulous. But anyway, so now I've got my four by six canvas. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to pull up this um, Passport to the Circus paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my little rectangular marquee tool. And I'm gonna select the paper that I want. I want this darling star paper. And then I'm going to hit Control C, which copies it. And I'm going to go over here to my canvas and hit Control V, which pastes it in. And here I have this darling star pattern already in there as a layer. And I'm just going to move it around a little bit until I like the placement of it. And I love the colors of this kit too. They're these nice, like, primary colors slash a little bit of green. I mean, they're just bright, vibrant, but also vintage. They're so pretty. Um, anyway, so after I do this, I'm going to create my little invitation area by adding a white rectangle and a black rectangle behind it as a mat. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab this little rectangle tool and I'm going to do my black one first since it's going to be on the back and I'm going to start it about, if you look over here, I've got my little um, rulers, so I'm going to start it about a half an inch in and a half an inch down. And then I'm just gonna drag until it's about a half an inch um, from the end and a half an inch from the bottom. So there's my black one. And then I'm gonna come over here and click a new layer. And I'm gonna make it one that's white. And so I'm just gonna kinda line this up in the corner and then pull it down here until it's about the same. And so here's my little area to type in my invitation. Next, I'm going to um, bring up this ephemera page. I love this little ephemera page. I think it's so cute. We've got Wonders of the Circus. This one, you can't read it super well, but it says, Life is a Circus, enjoy the show. We've got a ticket here, and then another little ticket here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Wonders of the Circus. So I'm gonna take my marquee tool again, and I'm going to select the area that I want, control C, go over here, control V. And as you can see, it's kind of big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down shift while I resize it so that I can keep it the size that I want. When it's the size that I want, I hit the little check mark. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit this way. And then I'm gonna pull it down here into the corner. I think I might want to make it a little bit smaller, so hold down shift, pull that over. And then I think I'm going to grab this yellow ticket here. So I'm going to grab my marquee tool again. I'm going to select this ticket. Control C to copy. Control V to add. And I think I'm actually going to put this behind the wonders of the circus. I think I'm going to turn it this way 
I just rotated it. Sorry, I just made that big, but I need it to be bigger for a second so I can resize. And I think I'm going to have it kind of come over here and then go down like this a little bit. But I want it to be behind this picture, so I'm going to come over to the layer and drag this underneath the two. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Then to give it a little more dimension, I'm going to double left click on layer three and click drop shadow. And so that gives it a little more dimension right in here, makes it more 3D, and I'm going to do the same thing for layer two double left click and drop shadow and now this is ready for me to add my invitation to so I'm going to add a new layer and click my um, typing tool and the, t the um, font that I used here is called Nexa Rust but then I found this really cute um, font called Rosewood that I really like and I want this you're invited to match my invitation. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select where the color is and I'm actually going to come in here. I want to use a color that's already part of this and so I'm going to use this little eyedropper and I'm actually wanting some of this deeper red and so I'm going to select the red out of this part of the circus, a uh, wonders of the circus that I want and then I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to type you're invited and I want to keep it just like that. And now that I see it, I feel that that red is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go back to my text, click here, and actually I'm thinking I might want it to be this greenish color. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's look and see what it looks like as a yellow too, just in case. Hmm, I don't know. I think I prefer the green. And actually I think I'm going to drag this down to where it's a little bit darker of a green. Yes, I love that. So we've got You're Invited. And then I'm going to add a different little uh, script font over here. This is Nexa Rest Script. I think I might use the Sacramento font for this. Oops, Control-Z to undo. Sorry about that, friends. Not working, so I'm going to go back here. I needed to add another layer before I added those. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to go down to the Sacramento font. And I think the color that I want this to be, let's try this red. So we're going to do what? Capitalize the what? When? Where? And I'm not going to have an RSVP on this one. I want this to be left. So I'm going to pull that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that as the darker red because it's almost black, but it's not quite. I'm going to make these just a smidgen bit smaller. Ooh, and then I probably can do an RSVP. And so that's my little um, column of um, titles for what I'm going to have. And then this font right here, I cannot remember what it's called. But if I open this up, I'm sure I can find it. I think it was up here. Yep, it's called Quicksand. And I still really like that font. Did it again. Sorry, Control Z. New layer, friends, whenever you're doing a new um, font layer. So we're going to do this. And we're going to go up to that quicksand because I really like that. And I like this yellow color and I think I want the same color. So I'm going to come down here and choose that yellow. Maybe drag it over to be a little bit darker. And so let's say that this is somebody's 16th birthday party. So Julie's 16th birthday party. I'm going to hit the check mark. And then I'm going to click my arrow, or my, yeah, my little arrow, and I'm going to pull this over. Obviously, this is too big, so I'm going to mess around with the size. We're at 18. Let's go down to 12. Hmm, let's go up to 14. Yep, I like 14. And then I'm going to select it, and I'm just going to move it to where I want. I love that. So now, I don't have to do a new layer. I can just click wherever, and it'll keep that same font and size and color of the last one that was selected. So let's say that Julie's having her birthday on Friday, March 25th, at 3 p.m. I'm just randomly making these things up because I can always change them to make it whatever I want later on if I decide to use this for something, which 
I honestly might. And now that I'm looking at this, I feel like this looks a little small, the title, so I'm going to go up here. And I don't want to make it too much bigger, so I think I'm going to try and make it 26. Oh yeah, I like that better. It just fills it in a little bit better. Then I'm going to reselect this right here that's the quicksand so that it goes back to all the colors and sizes that I want. And let's say where. Where would we have this? Roller City Skating Rink. Roller City Skating Rink. Who knows? Who knows what 16 year olds like anymore? So there we've got the Roller City Skating Rink and then RSVP to Julie at 555 5555. Because I don't really know Julie and I don't know her phone number. <laughs> So there we've got the RSVP. And then lastly, so over here I've got this little no gifts necessary. You could put a little thing here for no gifts, gifts necessary again, or you could say something like Julie is, if this was like a bridal shower and they wanted a circus theme or whatever, like the couple is registered at Target or wherever they're, target, or they're uh, registered. Um, but I'll just say, um, Julie is registered. Do people register for birthdays? I don't know, but we're going to pretend like they do. Julie is registered at Target. I feel like if a 16 year old was going to get registered somewhere, it would probably be like Target. <laughs> and then I'm going to fix this so that the at sign goes down next to the Target. And then I think I'm going to make this that same deep red color from before. Yeah, I like that. And I'm glad I did that because now I see that I spelled registered wrong. And I'm also going to make this that same Sacramento font. Oops. Got to hit the check mark. Got to always hit the check mark so that it accepts everything. Okay, so there we go. And that's a little bit small, so let's make that about... There we go. And so, I mean, as simple as that, that's all you gotta do. When you save this, you're gonna wanna save it as a JPEG file. And then, like I said, you can upload it to any place that you want to get these printed at. And um, usually they have great deals where you can get a whole bunch for really cheap if you're doing a huge event, which I feel like any type of circus themed, um, like, event for a nonprofit or like a dinner or something that would be so fun and a really easy way to make the invitations is to just do them yourself with this gorgeous kit from Taylor Made Cards for You. Let's take a pick at the kit one more time. Here's the kit. It's got these three papers like I said. So I showcased the stars and the um, ticket back but this red and like, it's not really white, it's a little off-white stripe is really nice, and it looks very vintage. And then all of these different elements. Of course, if you don't want to go digital and you want to print them out, there are so many things you could create with this set. You could even make invitations, that were paper invitations to send out. Um, hopefully you come and join us this month at Crafter's Castle. Like I said, our sponsor is TaylorMade Cards for You. Your prize this month is this gorgeous passport to the circus kit. And I will be back later this month using another kit from Taylor May Cards for you and more inspiration. And until then, hugs and happy digital crafting, friends. See you later. Bye.